Hello everyone, this is Sears Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Yanbai Hu campaign. This is episode 13. We pick it up from turn 81 in the harvest season of 210. So we end the last episode as our main army here conquered uh, Wuling's rice paddy. It was a fun battle. Uh, our guys had fun shooting at them as they tried to run away. And the officer Zamba and our wife is not getting along together, but that's, that's fine. Uh, things are not going to be all smooth. Uh, he definitely needs some speed. We did this at the end of last episode, but as you know, legendary difficulty saves right at the end of battle, so it didn't get saved, but that's a minor thing. Uh, our plan this episode uh, will involve us uh, launching Lü Bu right into the thick of things, as we are looking to take over the lumberyard, fishing port, farmland, livestock farm, uh, basically the southern portion of the Shandong Peninsula, because we don't want any of the cities. And we're looking to crush a few armies uh, because once we crush a few they will probably peace out now unfortunately it is alliance war so piecing out might be a little difficult uh, we'll see how things go uh, we're also interested in some low base land as well i'm really curious to see what the yellow uh, not yellow turban we are bandits the bandit version of the temple building is and also grab the iron mine if we have the opportunity and we'll just basically see where things go uh, we're also trying to get done with our mercenary contract down south. Uh, it's progressing. Uh, Saholdun's army need to get through our coalition partner's land and wipe out the spice market, take it for ourselves. Uh, on the other hand, our uh, brother's army need to take down uh, the other member of Shizhe's family who is already dead. So now the wife has taken over. It's just a bit of land in Changwu. Uh, we're going to grab both of them ourselves. And then we might actually uh, make a move against the Yellow Turbans. We'll see. I'm not so sure about how the war against Yellow Turbans would work. Um, we could also just uh, summon a few armies from here uh, to any location that we want to change regimes. So we can force a rebellion in that location, get them to switch to a rebel group, which we can kill easily and take over. Uh, so that's always a plan we can do. Um, so right off the bat, um, let's see, I don't remember if we actually checked these out or not. Uh, regardless, that's a terrible character. And he is really, really old. So we're just going to pass on these. Um, and we're going to look at our buildings, which usually means nothing because we rush everything so we don't have to worry about these. Uh, we have taken over Nanhai. Uh, it's a great commandery uh, because of... Uh, it has three counties as a harbor. Um, it could be better, you know, counties here, because all these only produce banditry. Um, if it had a salt mine, which Jianye has, Jianye is definitely one of the better ones. Uh, we're going to continue to do our infinite loot. They're just keeping an eye on Wang Long because they could turn on us. Uh, these guys are farming rebels here. Um, Rebels have died down a little bit, but only because of military crackdown. Eventually, it will flip. And uh, that might be it. Alright, Liu Chong's army is also keeping an eye on Wang Long. Yeah, so I think all the armies we have that could mobilize have mobilized. And if we revisit our spy, uh, Li Yan is done. Needs to get more cover. Probably need to get more cover. And, yep, same thing. We're spying on Coral just to keep an eye on his armies and such. Uh, I'm not sure if this will pay off in the long run, but we'll see. And we can take a peek to see if we have any one we can steal over. Hmm. Do we want to maybe put in a new spy in this faction? I like to keep a slot open just so that we can keep checking. All right, I think we're good. Uh, let's just continue then. All right, a new turn. Uh, Duchy of Zhong has contracted Zhang Yan as a mercenary. Interesting. To fight the yellow turbans. Huh. I thought they mentioned that AI shouldn't be able to do this, but maybe it's possible for AI and AI, but... I guess you playing as any other faction can't contract a mercenary to fight, but AI can contract another mercenary to fight. Kingdom of Liang, uh, Ma Chao is now the figurehead looking spiffy here. Also fighting the old turban. 
Got a new weapon, Forged. So I believe Forged means it comes from a Forge, so a best silver weapon. Indeed. And now that we're on Hotfix 1.5.1, uh, titles become available for unlocking again. So we got the Gold Cover Thief unlock for being really, really rich. They only require us to capture rates and sack 15,000 gold. We have done way more than that. Uh, and we got ourselves a D. We got Honest, which is great. Ying An Zhu, Ringleader. So I'm guessing she's a bandit. Yep. Formidable, tranquil, populous. Pretty good traits, to be honest. Level 5 as well. It's kind of insane. Um, she got all the bandit traits, which is good and bad. Yeah, honestly, it's good and bad. There's no stats on these. Lu Chang. Hmm. I'm gonna hold off against recruiting these. All right. We got a level up. Lupo's daughter. Uh, tenacity of steel. That should definitely up her ability in combat. Um. What do we want her to have? Maybe just actual instinct. We need more armors, it seems. It seems the weapons are doing well. We need more silver armor, so we might build a couple armor forges going ahead. Previously, we were thinking about how we have so many legendary characters, but it seems like a lot of our characters do need armors. Okay, let's start over here. This is what excites me the most. Rebels fighting. Ooh, they dumped two armies over here. So first thing, do we have night battle? We don't. We don't. We're one level away. Hmm. So either we get in this giant fight. And I mean giant fight, because there's a garrison here too. We have no range, so it just has to be a straight up fight. Hmm. They have a trebuchet. I'm trying to think it's better to siege the city and fight the reinforcement of this army, or is it better to fight them and force them to come out as reinforcement in open field? Open field might be better. <laughs> we'll save this for the end of this turn. Feels like this one's going to be pretty intense. Let's go down south first. Our brother's army. We'll just take an easy rice patty with delegate here. Alrighty. Gonna pop them out. Zhengjiang leveled up. Ooh, she has reach now. Should we get it though? Yeah, we should. Because it also gives us one available army. Because she's in one of the leadership roles. Hmm. Let's have her lead. Who looks better, right? Yeah. She looks better. The bandit queen will lead. Um, our other southern army should be... Which one is it? Wait. Should be Xiaohodun's, right? Why are they all the way down here? Hmm. Anyways. They're going to be going here. Don't take it before us, please. Let us take the, the spice market. Uh, we give this piece of land over to Cao Cao. I mean, having infinite loot is great, but the big problem is we can't move fast because we're always minus 25% campaign movement speed. You win some, you lose some. Alright, and our main army, which also might have something to do because we just wiped out a faction over here. 
we could think about what to do next. Liu Bao is our neighbor to the north. This is our nice vassal. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so Liu Bao took Fu Ling. We're at war with Xun, Kingdom of Xun. Their armies are over here. We have a piece of land here. I think it's pretty safe. It's kind of snugged in here. They're not really going after it. This army might change my mind, but I feel like we're okay right now. Hmm. If we go down and run all the way through here, we need military access with them. It'd be pretty nice if we could get a mercenary contract with them. Basically, we're stuck right now because this contract is not over, which is really troubling. We're going to put ourselves here. In our vassal's land. And then we're going to set up a future contract with them to fight the Yellow Turbans so we can get through. And then we can use the Southern Army to actually fight Yellow Turbans. And then this army can actually just go take care of Ba. Um, and then if we need to fight Yellow Turbans, you know, all these armies can get busy as well. There's a Changsha town right here. So maybe we'll have them on the lookout here. Maybe that's our next big contract. Um, they will still spy on them and they will still defend here. So I guess now we're back here. Back here in this fight. I feel like we just shouldn't shy away. We should just take them head on. Let's take the open field fight. Alright. They have 5,000 men, pretty much. 4,934. We have 1,000. We're outnumbered close to 5 to 1. 4, four point something to 1. Decisive defeat. They got siege weapons. They got dragon units. They got bandit units even. Mounted crossbowmen. Furies of Beihai. More dragon units. More dragon units. Really strong repeating crossbowmen. If you guys haven't seen the patch rundown, repeating crossbowmen hurt. Cavalries get shredded. Uh, obviously if we have um, heavy armor here, We'll be doing a little bit better, but still, they do get shredded. Uh, we do have very good cavalry uh, for three of the units. We have camp crushers, which is amazing. So I feel like we could do it. We have Lu Bu. You know, if anything, we'll solo this. Lu Bu's daughter. We all have resiliency. Um, let's see, their generals. All right, he has a farmer. He has resiliency. He's a, she's a mediator. She's the heir. Okay. Huh. The heir is in this battle. Well, unlucky him. Let's go. Alrighty. So this is going to be a hard fight. And we're going to need every trick in the book to get this done. Uh, the reinforcement's coming. I mean, by trick, I mean using Liu Bu. Um, we're probably going to run the daughter with him. Um, she has pretty good weapon. So she's going to have great damage as well. Tenacity of Steel just got unlocked, so that should help. Um, as for the wife, I think we're just going to keep the wife with the main army. Yeah, I think we're going to keep the wife with the main army. And what we're going to do with the main army is actually pull back. Hmm, let's see, they're coming from over there. We'll pull back here. Then what our goal is to do is, um, let's see. Let's call these guys one. We'll put him with them. These guys will be two. These guys will be three. All right, let's do that. Our goal is to run the one, which is the bulk of the infantry, into somewhere here, around the water. Hmm, the water might slow down charging. Okay, actually we're going to fight in this corner where it's very empty then. Because our cavalry is our strength. 
We're, we're not trying to guard a corner. We're just trying to draw the enemy into a position where our cavalry could actually flank. Because we don't have a range front line to, to like, absorb the energy. We're attacking, so they might not even come. Uh, but we're going to buy time for them to do some damage. And then this group will run to near the corner. Just basically set up here. We'll hide our vanguard's uh, shot cavalry in here. And then we're going to put them on the other side. So that we have two different directions where the cavalry can come from. Alright, let's first get that done. There we go. It's okay, they got reinforcement coming in as well. It'll take them a while to get to us. Uh, we're just going to hide these guys. Well, not hide them, but just lay them out here. And then she's going to go to here. And then we're going to go forward. Let's go. Hmm. The cavalry group is already moving out. Well, Dad's got 119 speed. She's got 95. He doesn't want to duel. Alright, they just don't want to duel. It's fine. We're gonna run right over here. We're gonna even the odds a little with Lu Bu. Tribuchet. We're gonna go kill those as well. These poor guys. We're saving the ability for when get sworn by enemy infantry. Alright, kill a few onyx dragons. Or get swarmed by cavalry. We don't have any heal abilities, so we gotta be a little careful. But we should definitely chase after them. And make sure we don't lose our mount. Hold on. Now is a good time for a smash. We'll hide her to the side for a little bit. Okay. Not very effective, but we don't want to run into these spear guards. How fast are their cavalry? 95? Okay, we can outrun that. Hmm, a lot of spear units. Alright, we'll just fight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're crowding us. No worries, no worries. Come help dad. Hmm. We will kill them off pretty quickly. There we go. Now the cavalry's routed. Now we'll hang in here for a little bit. And smash. Alright, chase the chase the Z. Where's the Z? Yeah. Alright, we'll let them off. Alright, they shatter. They don't even see our other units right now, which is fine. Strategist, huh? See how many wax you survive. This is the heir. Zhang Jiezhu, Polycorn's wife. She's, she's making the right moves. Evasive maneuvering. Alright, we don't want to fight that group. We'll get out. Taking a lot of damage. It'd be nice if we can get a... Get a heal off of a duel, but... 
They don't seem to want to duel. It's okay. We'll rely on him in the beginning and then switch over to our cavalry in the end. Really wish we could soften up some of the range units though. They can't send any more reinforcement because they have too many units on the map. So is that the reason why only a few units have shown up? So maybe we should kill some of these few units here, including the Tribuchet, who's alone because they moved all the infantry up. Okay, we'll have some fun. They left their siege weapons unguarded. They're trying to make a pretty nice formation here. These guys are going to be super annoying. 40% range block chance, plus 50% missile resistance. They should do okay. What we're going to do here is route this one unit, cause one unit to spawn, because they'll replace one unit, and then we'll kill off that unit, and then we'll keep doing it until we kill off all the reinforcements, until they're the only group on the battlefield. That's actually a pretty good plan, honestly. So now one more should spawn because one left the battlefield. No? Are we wrong here about this? That's how I believe it should work. We'll hide in the forest and let them rest up. We'll actually play with our units for a little bit. Alright. That's a huge mess. Our best shot might be through this forest, but they're kind of moving into it. No reinforcement. But maybe after a few guys run away, maybe? Still counting on this idea working here. Let's see. Let's test our theory out. When one unit leaves, another should show up. Alright, they're gone. Where's the reinforcement? Hmm. It's not coming. Guess we'll leave them. I want to draw a group over. I wonder if we can slip these guys even deeper in here. Still hiding. Like maybe hide here. Might not be dense enough. If it doesn't work, we could be in trouble. All right, we're going to move everyone up a little bit. No reinforcement? Hmm. This strategy doesn't seem to be working. Close relative friend. So if they die, we could get some bonuses. Right, we only see three enemy generals. There should be three more. Oh, this one's not hiding anymore. They see it. They're not really responding to it because they're defending. Well, let's make it difficult on them. Let's run these guys over. They're rested now, I believe. Yep. Fresh or winded and fresh. And then we can kind of, you know, make them decide which flank they want to protect. We can also run this general up here. We're weak now. No duel? Really? Hmm. They're shifting their force. It's our chance. Get closer. Could they see these guys? Now they see these guys, but... Interesting. Send 
Send someone here. Send someone here. We have them surrounded on four sides with one fourth the manpower. It's ridiculous. Are they responding to this group now? This might be a chance. Those are the most dangerous group right here. Alright, that's our chance. We're gonna go hide. They're finished hiding, they're finished hiding. We just gotta move this group up. So we'll keep this group visible. Alright, we'll sneak these guys in to kill off some of these range units. They're super confused. Alright, charge, charge. Just gotta stay away from the spear guard. Don't select it. Now we go. Those spear guards should come try to come back and save them? No? Alright, gonna pull out. Look at that group of dead. Not looking to get swarmed. Too many spear units, or else we'll send in the cav. Honestly, if we draw enough spear units away, could we charge on this side? Not sure. I really want to smack that. Assuming there's no spear units, this looks good. Um, got a little shy here. Uh, it's, it's too messy. Like, I don't know which spear I'm gonna get hit. But it feels like this is okay. Okay, and then we smash. Right in the middle here. There we go. And then we murder them. There we go. Make sure we route the spears. Yep. That's what we really want to do here. Oh no, we lost the mount. Ah, we knew this was going to happen. Alright, help dad, help dad, help dad. Did we lose the mount too? No, we're good. Okay. Hmm, dad's in trouble. Let's go. Alright, we'll go distract the archers. Especially the heavy repeating crossbowmen. Prevent them from being able to... Not running into the D, basically. All right, if they're not bound, they're not, they're not, yep, they're not braced in the right direction, then we just charge. Distract those, distract those. Kill them. Kill them. Charge at that. All right, these are in a bad place. No, no, you stay here. You're in a great place. We'll go kill those. These three go here. Time to charge. Time to charge. We're creating a mess. Come, come, come. Alright, fight these. Fight that. Counter charge. Yeah, we, we got all the spears' attention. Time to send in the vanguards. The vanguard shot cavalry. Stay on them. We got the fast horses stay on them. And then we got the slow heavy ones charging into the enemy crossbow line here. Alright. Emperor units charge. Those bandit melee cavalry are just for sacrifice anyways. They're gonna all die. 
But look at all those range units. Come on. Let's kill them. Charge in here. On them. On them. Ooh, daughter's knocked out. Li Bu is al almost knocked out too. It's okay. I'll pull her back. I wish she didn't route though. Her dying will be a lot better for us. Charge. Make sure we don't break vision. Why are they not... Yeah, they should stay on them, please. Alright. Camp crushers, get in here. Chase. Alright. Our superior infantry has overwhelmed them. After distracting them with our melee cap. Alright, they're back. There we go. Chase after these. Chase after these. Stay on the range units. Fight them. We will keep fighting. Charge out. Keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. Alright. Stay on that. Charge, charge, charge. We got reinforcements coming. Gotta move some of the cavalry down. Take care of that. She's dead. Alright, just click, click, click. Look at her health disappear. There we go. Keep charging forward. I oh, can just loop around these guys, actually. You don't have to really care about the axe, only care about the range. Sending the cavalry down. We should send the infantry down as well. Um, they need to stay on that. Trying to move the cavalry away from the axe band for a little bit. Charge these. Oh, the people was just chasing that on foot. They won. They're not routed yet. Alright, stay on them. Stay on them. Alright, they got no chance against these guys. Where's that general? It doesn't really matter actually at this point. Mm. No need to fight spear units. Sent them against the spear. They got them. Are they still kiting us? They are. We have 4k health. We're so tired. Charge. 
Alright, keep killing them. I think we're wrapped here. We might have won. We do want to chase because there's a big siege fight coming up. It's not over yet. Can't let them run away. Who's still fighting? She's still fighting. She's the heir and she's unbreakable. We'll go get her. Is her unit still fighting? No, they finally routed. Alright, I think we won. Alright, we got out of this one. Uh, we're going to be cleaning up the battlefield a little bit. It won't take too long. And then we'll see you at the end. Alrighty. Well deserved victory here. Heroic victory too. We only lost 258 men, but most of these are valuable cavalry units. Uh, we captured four generals. Um, Alright, so her retinue is pretty wiped. I mean, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to execute her. She's not that great. We're going to try to employ as many as we can. That steals the whole retinue. This is their heir. Now, I don't really need to execute. I think we're going to release whoever we can that we can't employ. And then we'll employ whoever is available for employing. We want replenishment. Now, we're not done. Because we still want the lumber yard. Um, they still have a trebuchet, which is annoying. She's still alive. She's injured. Some onyx dragons. This garrison is pretty dead. This army can reinforce. Ah, we're going to fight this. We're going to wipe the reinforcement off the map as they show up with our cavalry and generals. And then we're going to march in with our protector of heaven. All right, sounds good. Let's jump in here. Alrighty, uh, we're loaded up in here. The reinforcements come from this side. That's pretty much what we want to know. Because we're going to wipe them out first. Not camp crushers. We're going to send our generals, even though they're super low health, and the cavalry, right into them. Um, they're pretty beat, to be honest, but we should be okay. Our main force will stand on the other side, so their units inside will stand on the other side. Um, which includes their trebuchet, which could be a problem. Hmm. Maybe we should hide them. Right, if we think about it that way, maybe we should hide them. And even this group, we might want to hide them from the beginning. This way their trebuchet will clamp, clump up inside in the center. Now, how do we hide them, though? If we stay... I don't know if there's a way we can... Oh, we can hide here, I guess. And hide all the units. Alright, we'll do that. Run. At least at the start, they are in the center because we hit everything. We're not letting this group get there. Charge. We're getting shot, it's okay. There we go. Ready to crush them. Stay on that. Go help. Kill the strategist. Alright, we just gotta stay on those. Hmm. Let's see. They're, we gotta get rid of these. They will kill this group.
Okay, those are super annoying. Stay on that. Stay on that. Everyone else. Well, oh, they're not done killing yet. Go help. Yeah, these um, bandit marauders are really bad. They're just really bad. But we're using them as bait pretty much, which is okay. They escaped, which is unfortunate. Go kill that. We're going to use the bandit marauders to either draw out the fire or charge in somewhere. These two are sacrificed. They will finish killing. Are they done killing? Yeah, they're done killing. Go help. Okay, they're done killing too. Alright, let's group up. Ribu lost his horse again. We charge into some Z militia. Do we lose our horses for these? We lost daughter. Alright, wife is still good. So wife will lead the charge. We'll have the wife charge in from here through this forest so we get some protection. Just to open up a path with these guys. Now some of these guys are still... They're done chasing. They're not done. Wait, are they actually done? Oh no, they're fighting in melee? Alright. Go, go help. Might actually lose. Alright, then... She might have to solo this. Capture a, a gate for us. Alright, these two are infantry now. Hilarious. Alright, we'll call these guys three. They're actually the useful cavalry group. Alright, it's good when we're chasing them. It's bad when they're fighting us. Because we don't actually have that much damage. Good armor piercing damage, I guess? How, how much did they hit? Oh, we have much more damage than them. But we do have a lot less health. So it's n better if we send some help. Let's see. Let's see what we can see here. They got a bunch of units at this door. Or what about here? They got a ton of units at that door. Looks clear. We'll hide them here. Oh. Definitely, definitely not clear. Feels like they have at least one unit at every door on this side, but no, maybe no one here. Yeah, this is chargeable. We can like walk right in front of it. Where's? Oh, she's slow on foot. Okay. We're gonna try this. Could be costly. We're gonna start moving them over here. They're facing the wrong way. See, they're they're, they're getting attracted to over here. Hold on, hold on. We gotta kite, kite, kite. Keep moving, keep moving. Shimshay is gonna fire. Ooh, tribuche shots. Okay, we got them out of the way in time. Charge in. Activate. Reverse charge. Charge in. Ooh, she died. No, Lu Bu got killed by the by the arrow towers. It's fine. We'll heal. We'll heal her. She will go crazy. She got healed. She got no horse though, so it's kind of bad. All right, we're gonna go through here. He's pulling back. They see this group. Well, too late. Oh, they're trying to hit us. Not too late. They're going to actually hit us. Uh, no one's going to make it in time. Or will they? She on foot or on horse? Still on horse. Okay. She'll actually make it. Uh, capture, capture. Don't leave. Capture, capture, capture. Capture, capture, capture. Almost ours. Okay, that's ours. Charge in. Get through, get through. Don't worry about these guys. Get through. 
Oh my god, she's literally stuck on. Alright, just keep moving. Alright, we capture these. Good. Move, 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 move. Into those range units. Keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> We easily beat everything inside. If we get these guys in. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit messy because we're getting clamped down here. Alright, alright, good. We just got to beat them. Camp Crushers this is really fast. Let's get in here. We don't really care about capturing these towers. Oh, we're getting wiped here. Get in. Don't worry about them. We'll send two groups here. Where are you? Why are you not inside? Alright, mom's busy fighting them. Oh, camp pressure is getting shredded by archers. Come on. We're going to move you to archer duty. Both of you here, one of you start coming over here. Come on guys, charge them from behind. Get in. Alright, Camp Crusher, kill the, kill the general. Alright, make a line. Alright, kill the general. Kill the axe band. If you guys are curious about camp pressures in action, we're just gonna whack every heavily armored, super good units. Giant double-edged blade here, just chopping people to pieces. We are getting killed by archers though. We have no range block chance. Oh come on, this guy's still on the map. What are you guys doing? All right, charge. I keep them busy. Give me one unit to help. Alright, charge, charge. They're, they're done when we get there. Alright, we're already messing up their behind. Stay on them, stay on them. Where's the one unit we're sending over there? Charge that way, please. What are they doing? Right, I'm going to mark them as three so we know that they're going here. One is just moving forward. Alright, go fight them. Alright, she's finally here. Be, be annoying. Did we kill them? We did. Alright, charge back in. Come on, guys. Beat them. Keep moving. Keep moving. Charge forward. Alright, we're winning. How are these speed warriors not routing? at Lupo's daughter with a legendary blade in hand. Oh, good move. Charge, charge, charge. Alright, we did it. Oh, what a messy fight. There we go.
我等心怀忠贞，才有此胜。Alright, close victory. Close victory. Uh, we're gonna recruit them just to take their retinue. 职责所在，还是有些用处的。我的目标。We finally made landfall. Getting this beachhead was very hard. Hmm. We might actually go for income. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe we'll just boost our research rate. Also, this will help our spies with a little bit of cover gain. Plus one. You know, it's not not big. We only have like three or four of these buildings, but maybe we'll get more. So he will bounce back to full health after one turn. These units, I don't know what I want to do with them. They're not terrible, but they're not great. I guess they're they're decent for what they are. They're bait. Um, we're definitely popping out to do this, so everyone heals much faster, right? We're guaranteed fifty percent, even without this. If you look at it, we had what forty? We had forty nine percent without this, right? Because we had, uh, I think she has a very nice bonus: fifteen percent replenishment for her own army. Uh, Liu Bu obviously is better to lead, but he's knocked out. So he can't lead, uh, but this is fine. Chen Pu, okay, they're moving up pretty quickly too. Um, we're gonna just sweep through these. Koron's army is pretty much depleted. We wiped out two of them. He still has an army himself. We can check on a spy. That's why we have her. So Koron has a full stack. We're looking at a stack, and they have another army. Oh no, she's an administrator, so she's not in the army. So they have two stacks left. We killed two stacks. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna. She's actually in the army. She's in the army looking at us. Yeah. Okay. So if she comes to attack us, we can extract. We can make her uh, reinforce for us. So that would work out perfectly. Great. Uh, let's take a look over here. Before we do that, let's see if anything has changed with who's available for recruiting. Seems pretty. Yeah, nothing's really changed, so we can just try to discredit people. Now, let's see. So there's no events active. Oh, recently. So he's been discredited recently. So we could do faction. Uh, we don't have enough undercover network though. So maybe we'll do this first. And then we'll wait a turn to do it because we're getting plus thirty-five a turn here. Over here, let's see. Also, kind of low. Let's do this. I'm so surprised Winslow has the plus fourteen for the cover defense. Pretty strong. We looked at these. We didn't look at their items, to be fair. We haven't really looked at items for a while. Yet, yeah, but no one has great items. Uh, we did grab a ton of characters, though, from these battles. And if we look at them, most importantly, oh, her Renu is really bad. What can we do with her, though? She's a hermit, so this is a bandit character. No desire for higher office. Minus 10 authority. So she's terrible. Because we have that bonus anyways. She is handsome. Her traits are decent, I guess. But this, this is pretty bad. And she's not going to have a lot of the um, assignments abilities. So I think we say goodbye to her. It was nice stealing her, but we don't need her. We got a farmer, which is really good. We got two Fury of Beihai on him. So we're never getting rid of him. We can try to get him killed. Because range unit is not exactly great on a champion. Yeah, getting, getting these off of him might be a difficult task. Because he's young, and he has resiliency, and he's a farmer. We got an Onyx Dragon here. And a Mounted Crossbow. 
and two heavy repeating crossbowmen. So she is, you know, already a strategist. So it's not like we don't actually have to get it off of her. Mm, skill tree so so. Well, they're all basically on cooldown. She's easy to kill. She's level one. Um, but who would we pass these units on to? That's the thing. Oh, actually. Hmm, but these are unique too. Maybe we'll keep those. Cheng Gong, maybe. Honestly, maybe Cheng Gong. Very high cunning. So let's try to get her killed. And then we can summon Cheng Gong back so he can await to pick up that retinue here. Um, you're good to go. Let's pull you back. We got plenty of replacements. Don't worry. The Great Wall will stand. We have these nice Cheng units too. She needs to die. Or she's pretty old. She might die. And get these to, you know, some Vanguard character. Um Charlton. Let's send her out here. Actually, who do we want so before we do it? We gotta watch for assignments because Alright, we got three sets of these, two sets of these. Ooh, she's available. So don't oh, let's take a look where we actually have industry income. Right, we can actually boost that. That's great. So now anyone else can come out without us worrying about it. And we actually should have an extra army slot. Yeah, we can actually send two people out. So she's ready level four. We want high level we want high level characters. Because they never need to level up again. Uh, yeah, he's good. We can just get rid of these. There we go. They'll complete the wall a bit later. Oh, we can't have... Right, we can't have stack rosters like this. Because we need a couple empty slots. One to summon him to get him killed. Alright, who's special enough to be recalled back? Who's special enough to be recalled back? Wang Gong. Oh, Liu Xiu Shu. Wait. Gong Sun Zan's faction. Burn officer. Right. So we're gonna get her back. Put her in the army, put her to some use. Alright, we're good here. Building solid. We might have moved all the armies. We check the spy. I think it's time for next turn. Let's go. Alright, it's also command their vassal Liu Bao to join war. We don't know what war. It's definitely not against us. Ooh, Liu Bao has taken Changsh. Liu Bao is stealing a lot of land. I mean, I guess they can be a comfortable neighbor to the north. It's not the end of the world. We'll just set this army up for Zhang Ke then. Seems like that's our only option here. We should have them marching. Guess you guys can just stick to keeping an eye out on them. Not much you can do here. I guess we could go north as well, but there's no rush. Yellow Turban's all the rage right now. Here comes Coral's army, but look at us. Already healing up. Um, we could strike them. But I feel like it might be better if we ambush them. This is honestly a pretty good ambush army. Like, we can actually fight that fight. Yeah, we can definitely fight that fight. Hmm. 
Hmm. He is in the leadership role. So we can do this and get ourselves extra redeployment cost discounts. Let's do that. Let's move our southern armies. Alright, they are not taking it yet. Let's move us. Oh, that's an enemy. It's fine. We'll ignore them. We're gonna race. We're gonna race towards their location here. If they want to fight us, they can feel free to come fight us. Livestock farm. It's our last target. Oh, we didn't convert this last turn. Shame on us. Uh, we're going for income here just because there's A, three counties, and B, Harbor County. So this will be kept. Tongwu will be kept. Alright, let's check some spy actions. Over here. Um, we're going to just let her save up her points because we might need her to do some maneuvering for us a bit later. I don't know if it costs anything to make them reinforce for us. But we'll see. Over here, we're going to discredit faction. That's kind of what we want to do. Who's willing? It doesn't matter who. We just need a willing. There we go. She's willing. Plus 10, plus 5. It's coming down a little bit, which is good. And with him, we gotta wait a bit. He's plus 14 over here. It's kind of crazy. Do we convince anyone? Yeah, we convinced a bunch of people, just not anyone we really want. That's the thing. Where's all the unique generals, you know? We can't get another turncoat in their faction. Feng Shuo. Is he worth it? Is he in the army? He is a general. Alright guys. We're going to set Korum up for failure here. We're going to pay off two of his f six generals on the field. He starts with a lot of points. Okay. I wonder whose army he's in. We can check that now. Ah, uh, they're not in his army. Basically, we have control of this army. We can flip them anytime. That would be pretty easy to fight this. She's got an onyx dragon on her. He's got two mounted crossbowmen. Alright, we're going to end turn. Watch them come towards us. Ooh. Hmm. You know what they should do with t a higher tier horses? Make it harder for you to get knocked off. Right? Because we're already sacrificing like speed for mass uh, on these horses. They should have another bonus to encourage you. Because sometimes you might just want the lowest tier horse to maintain speed. But maybe make it dip more, like harder for people to knock you off if you're on a better horse. Then you're encouraged to try out better horses in general. All right, this is our Bruin officer. We're trying to get them killed. Maybe we can, you know, use them as bait. I'm trying to get her killed. And we'll put the Bruin officer with her. She's level six. She won't die. Right, this looks innocent enough. Come, come hit us. They might have night battle though, so we should hide inside. So at least we get some reinforcement for sure. Oh, if they have night battle though. Hmm, it could get tricky. But let's see how it turns out. Let's continue. Alright, Coral foolishly walked into our ambush. So we're going to run a little long here as well and end them. Uh, we'll actually fight this because for once we have a non-range army. That can actually fight ambush battles. Let's go. Alrighty. Uh, we're loaded up in here. Our reinforcement are probably not going to make it. So we probably can't get her killed. Uh, the general there. This turn. It's fine. 
uh, we finally have a real uh, fight here for reinforce for uh, ambush fight um, this is where they have a lot of, so we're gonna do two waves we're gonna have okay so I'm gonna see if I can make this work we're gonna have these guys come out and hit this group we're gonna have I guess I don't really care about these we'll have this guy come out chase that group Hmm. We'll have one group here. Camp Crushers will come in here. Hmm. These guys would chase. This guys. These guys would be like a reserve unit. Because the archers will shatter, like scatter. Um. With skirmish mode and they'll just pick them off from behind we're gonna get this guy on this we'll call him two these two really good ones where do they yeah they don't have any anti-cavalry here they'll charge the front this really fast unit and this one We'll probably come in here a bit later. Ribu will come in here. Daughter and mom will come in from this side. Alright, let's see if we can get this to actually work. We'll take that. We're gonna let our cavalry sit. All right. We have much superior units. See, as the range units try to run, we're actually gonna chase them off. These guys are just here to herd them away. All right. We are one unit, one cavalry short. All right. Stay on them. Don't let them run. Alright, right, we'll chase the range. Kill her. <laughs> Coral ran fast. Very historical. Left wife and kids. Alright, stay on them. I know it's easy to get lost in the forest. We're actually fighting ambush battles. What do you know? Can we get back on our horse? She's the only reason they're not done yet. Alright, murder them. Don't let them run. Keep them on the field. Chase. I don't care about the general. Even bad cavalry can kill good range units. That's the thing about this. Alright, I'm just gonna chase for a little bit. See you guys at the end. Alrighty. Let's see if we captured Koro here. He did run really fast. But that doesn't guarantee we don't capture him. I guess we don't. We'll take replenishment. Actually, we're in our own territory. We'll take income. Alright, Gongsundu wants a non-aggression pack. And it's not paying us. No respect. Ah, the army of Shi Wu is actually attacking Shi Xie's army, who's dragging us in as a reinforcement. We can just delegate this. I don't want to actually help them out on the field.
Did they did they cause us to lose any units? No, good. Or else we're gonna ask them to pay us. We got fame and fortune, which is nice. Alrighty. So Cao Cao and Zhang Yan fighting. No problem. Oh, contracted Zhang Yan's mercenary. They're busy here too. A duel. Character wounded. We chase down the enemy general. For once it's not a bad event for us. Yuan Shao got vassalized by Liu Bei. Isn't this a change of fortune? And then he signs a bunch of peace treaty because he's now a vassal. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he didn't do well. All right, we got this is from Armor Smith. It might be a gold. Let's just take a peek before we end our episode. Uh, not gold, but two silver. Flying Swallow General. Zhang Yan's title here. Win an ambush battle. Good. Uh, we are doing very well. Coron has a full stack here, but little does he know. He's recruiting units for our generals. And his main force, his only remaining one, got shattered here. And Liu Bei is sending armies to help, but maybe too little too late. Uh, Liu Bei also has an army here. Uh, yellow Dragons. And then Zhang Ma Jian. Uh, but we're going to scale up two armies. We're going to have her kill, get Cheng Gong here, burn officer, another general. And then we're going to just basically start expanding here in the Shandong Peninsula. Uh, things going pretty well. We're going to be able to end our mercenary contract next episode and move on from there. If we look at diplomacy here, Yuan Shao is now a vassal to the alliance we're at war with. Uh, Gong Sun Zan is our vassal, so things should get heated over here. We can start sending them to attack targets um, elsewhere down south. Very calm. Uh, we're going to finish off both Shu Wu territory here and uh, uh, Tian An Ting's territory here. And then we're going to set up another contract for the Yellow Turbans. We'll decide who to get that contract with. And after we get this territory, we'll start moving on to the Kingdom of Xun uh, to get ourselves an Emperor seat. Very, very far away, but we'll get there eventually. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode and see you all next time. Bye!